What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute upper body and abs standing workout. Everything today is going to be upright so you don't have to worry about laying down on the floor or a bench or anything like that. I've got some lightweight exercises for your core that I'm going to use my five pound dumbbells for in the second half of the workout. Things just like standing core, things like that will be lighter in the weights and then we'll have wood choppers that might be a little bit heavier in the core work. But I used anywhere from five pounds all the way up to my 25s. My heaviest weight today was for a bent row. So make sure you grab your weights that suit you for this workout and let's go ahead and get started. Open and cross. Standing up for the whole workout today. So just know you're gonna need some light dumbbells for a little core work and then your regular dumbbells for back and bicep and shoulder exercises. Good job, let's take our arms here, one at a time. 90 degrees all the way up to straight. Good job. With our standing ab focus today, there'll be a lot of rotational work. So let's go ahead and go side to side. one of the most powerful parts of our core, being able to rotate and then control how far we rotate with anti-rotation. Team that up with back and shoulders. Makes so much sense for it to all be together today. Reach, reach. A little stretch in the back as you reach over. today. Supersets will be two exercises together. We'll go A, B, A, B, A, B. Good job. Then we're going to start off with a push press, so generating power, dip and punch, and then a wood chopper from the right to the top. Okay? So a little push press action. I'm going to go with my 20s. We go in four. Two, one, First round, just get into the, mo the movement, the motion of dip, and then when you punch, dropping under, then standing up. Good job. dumbbell right outside let's go and then a little bit of hip extension here to kind of help you with this power generation seconds of work so you've got time in between these push presses to breathe, reset, and go again. Okay? Let's go. Two, one, punch it up. Power is strength and explosive 
speed. Good job. You got six, five. Rest, perfect. All right, and we're back to the right arm. Okay, next round we'll go entirely from the left arm with another upper body, or next superset. Ready, let's go. Good job, and I'm making sure to kind of sit back into this hip to load it up, and then from the stretch, I generate the power. Great work, six. We got one more round of those too. So if you think last round, maybe your push press, you can give a little more. Let's go a little heavier. If you want to stay right there, stay there. Two, one, let's go. Good work. Second half. Almost there, nine. Let's go three. And rest. Good job. All right, wood choppers from that right hip. Then we'll rest for 30. We'll switch it up. Let's go. Five, two, come on. You got 10. Two, and rest. All right, take 30, shake your hands out. We're gonna go bent rows. This is standing, alternating. Okay, so we're hinged here at the hips, left, right. If you don't feel good, I know this is a standing workout, but you can take those dumbbells down to the floor on all fours have a little bit more support for your back. Second exercise, wood chopper, loaded from this hip, stopped right on the side of your body. Three, two, one, let's row. It's important to not rush this one, okay? You have 45 seconds and you are holding your upper body up with your back muscles while rowing with your back muscles. So be conscious, keep technique, priority. Fourteen. Two. Great job, you know the drill with this core exercise. This time, focus on not rotating too far, okay? Last round, we generated power with a twist. Now I want you to control the stop right out to the side. Let's go.
Good job. Great work. At the top, your core should not be extended, okay? Should be stacked and controlled. So you're stopping the rotation here. Core's turned on. Two, good, rest. Hopefully that made sense. I just wanna make sure that you understand anti-rotation is core work. So taking it here and too far, or over extending, not controlling the core. Back to rows. Ready? Let's go. job. I know these first two circuits seem a little bit slow, a little bit daunting, but they're all about technique and power. So in power generation, you have to remember you need rest. Okay. Two, one, you got 45 seconds. Good reps here. That's our priority. which can mean in between your reps, breath up here. Okay, instead of going lighter and just thinking speed, 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 I give power. Two, good job. I'm gonna go a little heavier. Take it down to kneeling. Like I said, I know this is a standing workout, so you do not have to go kneeling. You can continue to go here. Ready? Let's go. Or you can put your dumbbells on a bench, which is what I do most of the time. Good job, 18. Six. One more good one, three, two. Good job. All right, wood choppers, round number three. Then we'll break and we'll switch it up to some bicep work and a new core exercise. Ready? Two, let's go. Remember to stay tall here. Don't round your back, especially when you're here. It's easy to tuck. It's also easy to overextend. Stay tall. Ten. Two more, let's go. Four, three, two, and rest your arms. Beautiful job. Grab water, and we've got hammer curls alternating up next and then standing twist. Okay, hammer curls alternating. Keep your elbows nice and close. Go in here, thumbs up. Okay, focus on the squeeze. Our standing twist, you'll hold the dumbbell bow tie style. Twist, twist, twist. Let's go.
12, good job. Focus, 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 six. Rest, good job, I'm going back to my 15. I don't need anything complicated here. Keeping the dumbbell right at your waist level. Stop, pull, stop, pull, stop. Okay, so you kind of step into the pull and then pause right at the side. And it might be that you can go heavier. From an athlete perspective, this move is done in every single sport. But being a track and field girl, I know there's so much rotation and torque that comes with being great at all the components of sports, right? Think of a shot putter, you think of a high jumper, you think of a javelin thrower. So many events. Two, and rest. And it all has to do with your ability to control your core. All right, back to hammer curls. We're alternating. Let's go with some power on the way up and slow on the way down, okay? Let's go. Great work. Nine. Rest. Great. If you want to go a little heavier with a rotation, you can. And I'm giving you a power generation focus today because it is that time of the week that you will see in this program. But you can also just control right here. Let's go. So if you need to pause, that's okay. And I'm trying to keep my arms relatively locked here, relaxed. Okay, and just thinking hip drive. Fifteen. job last round of both and I know you've been holding that at kind of a curled position so it's intentional that these two are paired together ready last round two one let's go up There you go, there you go, come on. Twelve. One more, three. Two, rest. Good job. All right, last round of standing twists. Let's go. Good job. Keep the core neutral. Good job. Speed it up there for a second. Get a little more burn, but the focus is here. 
Here. Eight. Two, one, and 30 seconds rest. Straighten your elbows back out. Good job. All right. I've got back flies and then straight arm, knee to elbow. Okay, so for that second part, for these two actually, I'm gonna be lighter in dumbbells. Second part will be overhead. Okay, back flies right here. Let's go in two, come up. about back flies a lot and how I can get you to connect with them really well. This is a pretty tough exercise. You're not always going to feel complete burn here, but thinking about not letting that upper arm go forward first. Just think about, I need everything to go back. Everything drops back. A lot of times we will dive in and then fly. Rest. Okay, so just make sure you're starting with a backwards motion. Dumbbells up. Okay, palms face forward, you go opposite. Two, let's go. Sit up and twist. What do we think about there? Rib to opposite hip. Okay, so when you're coming here, take your rib over like it's going towards the opposite hip. You don't need to bring your knee up much further than your hip. Three. Rest. Good job. Remember, upper arm just goes back first. Don't dive and then fly. Four. Two, hook it back, let's go. Shoulder doesn't dive forward, it goes back, back, back. Twelve. One more, three. Rest. Okay, same thing. And if you want, you can do that single arm. Cross, I'm gonna keep alternating. Dumbbells up, I'm using my fives by the way. Two, one. Same thing here as I was telling you earlier. Don't flare your ribs out. I find myself doing it when I get tired. Right? Keep everything stacked. Three. Great job. All right, last round of flies. Connect here, okay? Upper arm, back. Four. Let's go.
Good, stay focused here, you got 17. Four, last one. And rest. Whew. Great job. Back to the overheads, and if you think you maybe want to go up a little bit on this one, let's do it. Okay. Four. Dumbbells up. Two. One. One more each side. Four, three, two, rest. Good job. Grab water or shake your hands out. We're going supinated curls, so palms are open towards me or towards the front of your body. Here and down. Okay, really trying to think about that pinky finger coming up in the middle. And then we go cross body, knee to elbow. Okay, we're gonna come here, rotate, twist. So we're gonna keep this 90 degree angle. Supinated curls are first. Let's go. Rest. Good job. You can grab one of the fives or the tens. Either way, stabilizing here, cross open. Okay. Halfway through, we'll switch to the other side. Two, one. Good job, switch it over. Next round we'll go all one side, and then the last round we'll go the other side. Just splitting it up the first round. Two, one, all right, supinated curls, we are back. All right, go up if you can, and we go together, three. Let's go. Fantastic. We're working our way right through the last third of this workout. Four, come on, one more. Rest. All right, the end of round two is right here and we take this all from one hand, this side, cross. Okay, we'll stay here for the whole round. Three, two, let's go.
Good job. Five. Rest. All right. Last round. All right. Big round of curls here, and then we're done with our biceps for now. Ready? Two, one. Let's go. That wasn't necessarily a fair statement. We'll finish out this round. That's a little bit more fair. Finish off this superset for your arms. Good job. Around the standing cross bodies from this side over. Try to keep your balance in this leg as much as we can, okay? Five, two, one. Think about how you feel in a sit up and twist, okay? Or a bicycle, kind of how we do this for bicycles. Nice job, 10, nine. Last one, rest. Great work. All right, grab some water. We've got a combo here of your back and your biceps. And then light weights for the core work. Okay, we're gonna go wide row and curl. So. I'm gonna use my 15, okay? We're gonna go wide, turn it down, curl, okay? Four, let's go with this arm first. Two, one, hinge out, come down, open, and curl. Okay, so there's no support here for the curl. Make sure you're not just pulling back as you curl. Keep it here, curl from that straight upper arm. up you're gonna step back twist towards the front leg come back up twist twist ready let's go and if you feel good about it you can go lower okay you can turn this into something much more challenging okay but you can also just turn here so go where you're feeling it today When you open here, you're really using your core. Good, big challenge for the last superset here. Three, and rest. Good job. Now for the row and curl, just switch to the other arm. Okay, five, good job. Stay connected here, two, one, let's go. Six. 
Second half. I know your arms are tired. They're doing great. Ten. Rest. Good job. All right, same thing, two more rounds. You can either step back, twist to the front, or step back, twist, and open. All right, both are gonna use your core. Let's go. You got this little angle here. You're supporting your core as well. As long as your spine is nice and long, Rest. Good job. All right, last round. Splitting this one in half, okay? So we start with the arm that you started with. Halfway through, we'll switch. Three, two, let's go. If you want to do alternating, feel free. I just like isolating one period of time on one arm. Then switch. Five seconds and we switch. Last one. Two. Other side, go. Almost there. Three. Rest. Whew. All right. Last round. Step back and twist. You can open it up or you can just keep it locked here and turn. Three, two, let's go. Just stay standing, arms up, wide stance here, let yourself breathe, pull over top, keep filling your lungs up, take that arm down in front, pull it over, arms back overhead, pull the opposite way. And let's drop it down, pull over. Good, hands on your tailbone. Gentle push forward. Nice work. Let's go a little bit wider with your feet. Toes point out. And let's stretch over, put your hand on your quad. With all the rotational work today we did, I wanna get here on the side body. Come back up to the middle. Same thing on the other side. Forearm here, open it up and over. And you should feel this stretch all the way down, even down to your hip. Come back up, pull your fingertips, 
great work today. Let's keep crushing it, okay? I know some days it feels easier than others to work up to getting to the workout, but I just really want you to try this summer, this program, this week, or even this month specifically to just make a workout a part of your day no matter what. And I'm not saying that's gonna be easy and I'm not saying they all have to be 30 minutes or more to be an effective workout. Any movement is gonna benefit you in the day if it's intentional, if it's helping your mobility, it's helping your strength, okay? Anytime you can move, please don't make it, oh, I have 30 minutes or I have zero, okay? I have 40 minutes or I have zero. Don't count your day as effective in the fitness world by, okay, I got a full 40, 45 minute workout in or I failed, okay? Different days are gonna present different things to you no matter what, that's life and that's our constant. Our ability to adapt is also our constant. So knowing that on any specific day, you may have to get up earlier if you know the plans ahead of time, you know your day's jam packed, or you may have to fit it in in small increments throughout the day, maybe 15 minutes here before lunch, 15 minutes after dinner, whatever it is, a later night workout with no caffeine hopefully, some sort of movement in your day should be a part of who you are, not just what you do on the days where it feels easy or how it feels when it's on schedule every day, that's how it should always feel. It's just always going to benefit you. So if you can't get a full workout in, you can get 10 minutes in. I've got five, 10, 15, 20, 30 minute workouts all the way up to 60. So I've got things here on the channel for you to search five minute workout, whatever you need. I just want you to benefit from the movement in your day. Okay, you can also set a 10 minute timer, pick three exercises and just go for 10 reps of each, as many rounds as you can. That's gonna benefit you, okay? I'm sure I've got something like that on the channel. I've got thousands of workouts here, but just saying, if you don't feel like searching one day, you just wanna do something, you know I've got this amount of time, I have to go now, just do that for yourself, okay? You're always gonna benefit. Don't overthink it, just do you, keep moving, all right? I love you and I'm so proud of you. Give this video a thumbs up if you crushed it here with me today and I will see you back here for the next one.